Hello, Survivors. Welcome back to Unturned 3 Early Preview Test Drive. Today we're going to take a look at Unturned 3.3.9.0, which has a whole bunch of new gun attachments in it. So this should be a relatively quick and painless exercise. And I hope so, because I'm having some computer troubles today, and I need to look into it. Could have a hard drive failure, or something strange going on. Maybe a virus, or... Zombie infection. I don't know. Here we are at the farmhouse, as usual, starting off our day right by shooting zombies nearby. Nelson put in the changelog notes that you can find all the new attachments here at the tunnel. So look at that, right around the corner, and show enough. Look at all the goodies here, guys. What is this? It's like a laser sight. It's a tactical laser. Side mounted tactical laser increases accuracy. Does it now? Let's give that a try. Oh, look at that. Attaches right there on the side. Looks nice. And it's, look at the red dot right there. It's basically just a laser pointer. So that's pretty cool. I don't see it anywhere. It should show up on... I'm not showing up. Maybe it needs to be darker. Or oh, I have to turn it on. Is there a turn on button? I'm pressing F. That doesn't seem to work. Q, E. Oh, it's E. Okay, guys, my bad. It's E um, for interact. Which, I wonder what happens when I try to get in my car. Because I use the E key for interact with other things, too. Well, it's too bad that can't be changed, because I would prefer to have it on, on F. But anyway, so there it is. Yeah, it's the target acquisition red laser beam. You can see it. It projects a red laser dot if you will, and that's great for shooting from the hip. So if you're running along and you can't bring your sight up quickly enough, and you you know someone hops out behind a tree, you can just lay into them. Nope. Oh, well, let's put it on auto. It's a heck of a lot easier, right? Boom, 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 boom. Nice. I like. All right. So there we go with the uh, red laser sight. That's pretty cool. Um, now, what did I just pick up? A ranger suppressor. So that's the ranger suppressor. It's going to go on a ranger class of weapon. Okay, guys. So I have a ranger class weapon here. Let's let's get this right, shall we? This is the Zubeknikov, as you can clearly see there. Russian assault rifle chambered in ranger ammunition. That designates it clearly as a ranger weapon. And sure, indeed, it takes a ranger suppressor. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? I love how that shows up like that. That's great. And now let's shoot a couple of rounds out of it. Hmm. Yep, it works. It works. And we're going to carry this around with us, in fact, in case there are any more Ranger class gun attachments down at the uh, tunnel. Let's go back and see. Okay. Let's go see what else we have here. We have some sort of a thing. And it looks like that's an angle grip. Horizontal grip. Military grade horizontal grip reduces horizontal recoil. Which sounds kind of funky. You think, wait a minute, horizontal recoil. But it can happen. It's a physics thing. I don't really quite understand it, but it's physics, folks. And it somehow works. There you go. Horizontal grip. So I'm not sure which guns Nelson has in his game that would have horizontal recoil, but we're going to have to find out. I'm assuming maybe some of the machine guns, and uh, I'm not sure if that's going to go on a sniper rifle or not, but it's something that we can test out eventually. Not going to do it right now, though, so we're going to take that off and see what else we have. There's a whole bunch of stuff here on the ground. This is look like some sort of a reflex sight. Oh, okay, here it is. It's a red Halo sight. It's a rail-mounted sight with electronic aiming halo. Calls it a halo, but it's really probably what he means would be holo as a holo in a holographic sight. And oh, that is lovely, guys. Mmm. Mm-hmm. There's no magnification on this. It's a reflex sight. So it's something that you bring up quick and acquire your target quickly and shoot. And I like it. I like it a lot. See, there's no magnification. It's not telescopic. But the uh, the actual reticle itself, reticle itself is um, 
is holographic somehow. I don't really understand the technology. I just know it works. And it looks dang awesome. Um, oh, I picked up a chevron scope. Now this is magnified clearly, and it's got a chevron reticle. Very cool. Now I'm down to three rounds. Do I have any more ammo? I think I do. Let me take this out. I will stick with the Zubeknikov for now, and let us reload that mag. I love how that works. That's so cool. And let's try out our chevron scope. It's too bad we don't have any zombies around. We just have to shoot regular stuff like telephone poles like they do in some parts of the world. They shoot street lights and telephone poles. Let's shoot a transformer up there. That would be awesome if that thing just exploded right now. Alright, so that's pretty awesome. So, we've got a lot of sights here, clearly. Uh, here's another scope, which looks like a rail mount. It's a seven zoom, seven power zoom scope, which, why don't we give that a try? See how that looks. Interesting color. And that is very nice. So I think right now the highest magnification that you can get in the game is 8 powered. And I have that one, I think, on my Timberwolf. Oh, look, we've got a uh, bipod here. And I'm wondering if that can go on this. Oh, we can put it on this, but you know what? I'm not going to. I want to try it on my saw. There we go. Now, let's... Uh, do I have a sight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put the, uh, the halo sight, or holo sight, depending on how you want to look at it. And the bipod, and oh, we have a suppressor on this already. Nice. Now let's get down on our knees and fire the sucker. Now, is there is there a prone? Oh, we do. It's X. I forgot about that. I'm like, wait a minute. I I'd be like, wait a minute. Is that what all kids say these days? Be like, all right. I'm gonna be like, wait a minute. Let's lie down. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Ooh, that's steady. That's pretty steady for an automatic fire. Man, you're going to be able to lay down some fire with this thing. And this is, what was he calling this? The saw, it's a dragon fang, American machine gun. It's military class. Ooh, a lot of ammo. No, I'm not. <laughs> Ooh, slow reload, though. It's pretty quiet. But let's hear it. I want to hear it. Don't you guys want to hear it? Taking that tree down. Timbers! What a way to take a tree down. <laughs> I love it. That's going to kill us lots of zombies. Ooh, get all the way up. Oh, I'm so happy that I remember that there's a prone. Prone position. Now, this looks new. I haven't seen this guy. Hello, little fella. Come to me. We can be friends. Got it. Oh, was it a red dot? Yeah, it was a red dot. Okay, so it's another... It's another reflex sight, like the others, except it has a different reticle. It's just a dot. Oh, you know what he did? He changed, because I had a red dot. Oh, he changed the name of these things, didn't he? Oh, I don't have space. Dang it. All right, let's just drop my Sniperskia for now. Yeah, check this out. So, oh, okay, this was, this was a red dot. Last time I tried it, so now it's changed to a red cross scope. So we changed the reticle. This is actually does have magnification. I'm not sure how much. It's like maybe four or something? Hard to say. But he changed this to a cross here rather than a dot. Nelson did. Crazy fool. So let's go put our dot back in. Um, I wouldn't mind actually putting it on that weapon instead of this one. Yeah, nice. All right. Nelson's really uh, throwing a lot of content at us. I think 3.0 is going to be done pretty soon, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun once we get rolling. Very much looking forward to it. Now, what? The, it's a tactical laser. Okay, didn't I already do a tactical laser? I think there's a flashlight, too. Yeah, here's the laser. And again, you can turn that on and off with the E key, which I had discovered. Futzing around a little bit. And a military muzzle. 
Military muzzle, you say? Ooh. Very nice. Let's see if we can't find that flashlight. I know there's a flashlight because I... Because I had asked for that in the last episode, and then I found out that he added it. I'm like, oh, dude, really? i got to get me one. Um, but I don't see one. All right, let me log out and come back in, and maybe we'll get a flashlight. Oh, wow. This looks like barrels. Oh, that, that looks like a flashlight. Tactical light. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Bring up the honey badger. And where does it go? All right, so you have to choose between your tactical laser beam or a flashlight. Oh, <laughs> I love the flashlight. This is clearly my choice right here. I love having that flashlight. It's especially fun when you're recording with someone else. And see, this is why I have to change that key because my E key is for picking up. And uh, I'd rather have the F key do the light. But anyway, yeah, so it's kind of fun to flash lights in people's eyes. Whoa. Woohoo! Drive by. But I like that light. Hard to show you how effective it's going to be in the middle of the day, but maybe the sun goes down. I'll show you guys that. So let's see what else we have. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, no, you know what? There's a new barrel, I think, too. I'm going to have to take this thing off because it's going to keep doing the wrong thing. I think there's a... Oh, Ranger Suppressor. For the Ranger weapon. We already did that one, didn't we? Did we get to see these guns? Oh, I don't think I showed you this gun in the last episode. I couldn't find it. What's he calling this guy? It's an Ace. American Revolver. Chambered in Ace ammunition. Reminds me of the, the uh, uh, Colt Python. Which is a gun that I absolutely adored as a kid. 357 Magnum. Not a lot of recoil on this guy. Now, what can we put on you? It doesn't have any attachments on it. That's too bad. Now, I thought there was another barrel, too. Oh, military barrel. Here it is. Military barrel. It increases accuracy. Did we already look at that one? Let's put that on... I wonder if I can put that on the honey badger. Because this has a special barrel. Oh, no, there's no barrel attachments on the honey badger. Which makes perfect sense. You have to have the, uh, the one that's already on it. Let's stick with it. So we have a... Military suppressor on this one. If I put the military barrel on, it's going to make a lot of noise, but it's going to be really accurate. Much more so than without. I think we should just ride into town for the grand finale of this particular episode and shoot a few zombies. A few full zombies. What do you say? Yeah, I'll park it right here. I'll get too close. There he comes. I'm gonna hit the deck here and scan. Okay, I wanna lay down prone. This really isn't a sniper rifle, but it, it works out pretty well in a pinch for long range engagements. Especially against zombies that run right at you. Shoot them right in the teeth. There's this little fella. Hey, buddy. Pop. <laughs> There's no bullet drop or anything here, so you can just put the target right on right on your uh, reticle there, and the bullet's going to hit what you're aiming at. There's no drop. have to worry about that. Bullet flies perfectly straight. This is a lovely thing in some of these games. Games made for fun, it's certainly fantastic. You're going to play a realistic game like maybe DayZ or Arma. Those games, well, the Arma engine for sure models... Uh, realistic ballistics. But not a fun, fun game like this. At least not yet. Maybe Nelson's going to put that in. I'm not really sure. Boy, you can clear a whole town this way, couldn't you? Hold on, big fella. I want to try this gun. Alright, guys. Sun is almost set beyond the horizon. And look at that tree. Isn't it beautiful? I'm only going to hum because if I sing, I'll really embarrass myself. All right, let's check out the accuracy on this thing. This is the Honey Badger, and I've got the I've got the horizontal grip in right now. 
Just out of curiosity if this thing actually does anything yet. It's super accurate. Of course, I am prone right now. And I'm wonder I'm not even sure if being prone has any effect on your accuracy in the game just yet. So a lot of this stuff has to be tested. Ooh, that's that seems even more stable. I don't know. Hard to say. It's gonna require a little bit more testing than that, eh? But let's go into town. Oh wait, 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 let's reload. And let's do some house clearing. We got some zombies up ahead. I've got my red dot sight in. Reflex, so it's nice and fast. Boom! No magnification on this, so you can acquire your target really quickly <laughs> without focusing. That's kind of the idea. Short to medium range engagements with quick target acquisition. Of course, jogging like that with the gun sidling back and forth is not as easy as it may seem. Ooh, so you could shoot from the hip. This is where a red, where a laser sight might come in. A laser pointer, essentially, in the end of your gun, showing you where your bullet may land. Hopefully. In fact, we could do that, but I do love this flashlight. Yeah, let's try the red dot. I mean, the laser. People get these confused. They're completely different things. The sight and the scope are not lasers. This is the laser. And we can turn it on and off. Oh, this is good for nighttime engagements when you don't want to be spotted by the enemy with your really super bright flashlight. And can I put it on? I can put it right in his chest. Shows up on his head. If you go off target, you can't see it. You lose it, which you would expect. Oh! He's like, what happened? <laughs> it's no magnification. It's because I really want to see. He's gone, man. Home run. See ya. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Yeah, you don't even have to bring this up. Did you just die already? The suppressors on these things apparently reduce the damage somewhat. I'm not sure how that works with the Honey Badger, but in a lot of games they model that if you put a uh, if you put a silencer on the end of the barrel, it makes the gun it reduces the damage somewhat. Right? Plop, plop. I like my flashlight way better. I like acquiring my target in my sights. I think it takes a little more skill. Boom. On the move, especially. Mm, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Woo. There he goes. I love this house. I'm moving into this house because it has a garage. I can drive right in. All right, guys. I think we're all set here. Let's switch to the honey bear. The honey bear? The oak bear? <laughs> oh, wait. Can you put... Oh, dudes. You can put the flashlight on this one, too. Oh. Hold on, fella. Hold on, fella. I want to take the flashlight off this one. And I want to put it on my honey bear. <laughs> put it on the honey bear. There we go. All right, turn it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. What about a sight on this one? No, no, can't do any new sights. Got some good damage on this thing. It's 19, M1911, right? So, 45 cal. It's got some stopping power for sure. Unless there's some body armor or a helmet, maybe. That seemed to work. I don't suppose Nushenka qualifies as a helmet. Maybe I just grazed him. Oh, I need that. Let's go clear the alley. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, no. I'm getting surrounded. We gotta run. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Get to the Jeep. Let's get out of here. Where's my Jeep? Oh, I don't have any stamina left. <laughs> I am really going to love playing this, guys. I am so excited for 3.0 to be completed. Let's go. It's far more challenging than 2.0 is in many ways. And I think I think playing the single player is still going to be pretty interesting and hard. And I'm, I'm fairly certain it's going to make a fun and exciting Let's Play. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. Of course, I will be doing some multiplayer with the generic again. We've already talked about it. We're not sure exactly what we're going to do. But it will be fun and exciting and silly. We'll make you laugh. We'll make you cry. We'll make you face palm, I'm sure, occasionally, too. All right, let's get home. We've got 15% gas. We should be able to make it. Probably got a couple of zombies back at the farm again. They always seem to find me out here. I'll run a few down. 
I like to park this thing in the back, pointing out. Or on the side, rather, not the back. But we go around back when we pull it up, when we pull in. And right about here. And slower down. We get it right here so we can hop in and go. Yep, mm-hmm. Oh, I took the flashlight off this one. Dang it. Let's get, let's get the oak bear out. Oak bear's still running. Light's still running. Anybody else want some? They're probably chewing on my fortifications back here. I knew it. I knew it. How many licks does it take, sir? Nope. We're clear. We're good. Time for bed. Reload. And we'll go to bed with a half empty... Half cocked, as they say. Good night. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.